I'm going to ask you, if I'm not mistaken, you were back here in March running in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series and won that race. You think maybe that helped you a little bit in this qualifying? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think that hurts at all. We had a, a great truck that night, um, that whole day, and it was, it was a lot of fun driving for Kyle and being able to win that race. And uh, I think any time you make laps at this track, it just it just builds on your confidence and builds on what you're looking for in the in your car and um, just trying to always go faster. And the Red Bull team did an awesome job today. To We made one sh one run right at the end of practice. We got one lap right before uh, the rain came, and uh, we were – you know, really on the loose side and ended up fifth and, and made the right adjustments from there to, to get the pole today. So it, it felt great. The car's been awesome all weekend long. The Toyota engine's running great. And uh, we just have to keep working on it for tomorrow afternoon. We had a good practice on, we did all race stuff until right at the end. And hopefully we'll have a good shot tomorrow night. Okay, questions for our Coors Light pole winner, Casey Kane. Who's got a question? Anybody? Mike Embry's got one and then Reed. Mike Embry, speed.com. Casey, is there a, a speed limit at this track? They, they keep climbing here, and, and, and we sort of think, you know, there has to be an upper level somewhere because of the way this track is. Um, but is, it, is it just a, a factor of the cars now? Is it how fast you can go here? Is there no human limitation on how fast you can go? I mean, the teams keep getting the cars a little bit better. The engines keep getting a little bit better, so we're picking up speed. Um, the track, as it loses grip, we're going to slow back down. So when... You know, it's already started to lose some of that grip, and it'll, you know, throughout a race run, we see that. But on the one laps, uh, you know, just one clean lap, they're, it's still really fast, and I think the cars are just getting a little better. And um, so I don't, I don't know how much faster they're going to go, but I think that's a, that is a pretty solid lap. And this track, at some point, is going to start wearing out and kind of go in the other direction, and we'll start slowing down again a little bit. I believe Reed had a question. Go ahead, Reed. Uh, Casey Reed Spencer with Sporting News. Uh, this is your fourth poll now at Darlington, but your first since the since the new car was introduced. Is any any particular rationale for that, or just getting the hang of this car here at this place? Or well, we've we've came pretty close a few times with this car, but we just haven't been quite as fast. And I think the first three times we qualified here, we were on the pole uh, when I first came into this series. So it was, I've I guess I've always kind of taken. To, uh, to qualifying at this place. I like running right against the wall and carrying the speed, the momentum. Uh, but yeah, we just, we hadn't been quite as fast, uh, I guess, in a couple years. And today we were, we were really fast. So it was, it was great. It, the lap felt awesome. I knew it was uh, definitely had a good chance at the pole when I, when I made the lap. We got a couple, I think, uh, in the queue here. We'll go with Pete and then with uh, Steve. Casey, along those same lines, those first couple of po the first few poles here was when the track was a lot more abrasive and a lot, and, and a lot harder and you seem to even finish a little bit better during some of those years is it has it taken you some time to get used to this paving well I feel like um, it's taken me a little bit because you, you definitely look for something different and I think that goes back to you know their question about the uh, about not having a pole in a little while here too um, the cars handle a little bit different but you know, we just uh, we'll keep working on it, and um, it's a great track still. I, I really enjoy it, and you know, can't ra wait to race tonight in the Nationwide Car. The Great Clips Car was was fast today in practice. Uh, we start fourth tonight in that, and tomorrow night in the Red Bull Car. I th think we got a chance in both of them. You know, definitely have a good shot and to to run up front and you know be one of the cars. Steve Richards of PRN. Did you figure out in practice if your car or how good the car will be tomorrow night? Well. Um, I mean, it's kind of tough because of the, the rain. We didn't race it or get as much as we wanted. And we weren't – I didn't feel like we were good enough to win tomorrow night. So we're going to have to make a couple more adjustments and, and hope that it's the right direction and then work on it throughout the race, try to keep that track position. But we were pretty good in practice. I really felt like we were in race trim. Uh, we were pretty good, and we were, you know, great in qualifying too. So I look forward to it. But as the track changes, you just – you know, Texas, I felt like we were really good in practice, and it went green, and we ended up 21st with no damage. It's kind of it's where we were all day and or all night. So hopefully we can be a little bit more like Richmond and, and just battle up there all night. Go Jenna and then Lee. Go ahead. Jenna Fryer, AP. Casey, I asked Danny the same question. After the strong run and finish last week at Richmond, is that enough to turn a team? Is one run enough to 
send a team on that uphill climb to turning around a, a disappointing start to the season? Well, I think it, it helps, you know, and um, we actually started pretty good as a team. I think we were at eighth and points or something after maybe the first four races, and then we had two wrecks that were uncontrollable and ran 21st at Texas, and then we're 18th in points um, third last week and on the pole. So I, I think we're right there, but we're definitely working on the cars. We're working on, you know, TRD's working on the engines, and we're just keep getting better each week, and that's, that's what you have to do to keep up with everyone. So it's, you know, I think the confidence is good and the, and the momentum, and that'll carry. Um, we have some great tracks coming up, but also just the preparation and, and building stuff that maybe myself and Kenny are a little more used to um, that that helps us too. Go ahead, Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Forgive me if this was asked. I was underneath the headphones. But how's the knee doing? And um, you, how how are things getting along with that? You're actually the first one to ask that. <laughs> um, it's fine, actually. You know, it's it felt good all week. I started biking again, um, not running yet, but biking, and just been icing it a lot to keep the swelling down, and it's healing up quick. It feels really good today. I'm um, excited to run the nationwide race tonight, so it should be in good shape for tomorrow.